Exciting day here on Living Local. Joining us now, we have Steve Potts, the owner and founder of Scout Boats with us and his daughter as well, Sherry Ferguson. She is in charge of HR. Thank you both for having us. You're welcome. All right, so today I wanna get to know Scout Boats. You know, I've grown up in Somerville. I wanna know how it all got started. Well, Scout came from very humble beginnings. Mm -hmm. um, Diane, my wife and I started Scout Boats in a garage in Somerville. And uh, we started out with two small models. And from the, from the inception, it was always uh, my goal to create the best um, boat that's in the market that we're in. When you were watching this as a child, you know, come to fruition, I bet you're pretty proud to watch your dad kind of evolve over the years and see this idea really grow. Absolutely. I, I, I am blessed now to be able to see that perspective of the business. Um, I, you know, saw them building a boat in our garage. I saw my mom and dad sitting at our kitchen table sketching out what they wanted the logo to look at, look like. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a, a, I'm honored to have this, this perspective and uh, it's neat. And where did you think this was gonna go? I mean, you think building boats, I would just think that would be a big feat, you know, to start a business and build a boat. <laughs> well, I, you know, I don't wanna say I, ha I have a conquer the world personality or mm -hmm. outlook, but I just always have felt like the industry, boat building, um, is one that's labor intense and that um, my ability to be able to inspire and motivate people can take us wherever we want to go and so I never had any thoughts that we were going to be restricted to any size or even any type but so we've uh, grown the business based on something small and simple mm -hmm. to today being something big and complex. It, it feels like everyone is very committed to the project. I, we were walking through the warehouse and it was just amazing to see, you know, people smiling, enjoying their job. From the HR perspective, talk about kind of how you've created this culture here. We really, um, you know, want the best for every single employee that, work, that works here. We're their biggest cheerleader. We want them to succeed. We mm -hmm. want them to take the next step. Um, we want everybody um, to grow within this company. We want them to stay here. We want them to run a facility. We want them to, to be the best at what they are. Um, and we set it up that way. Um, we, get, we give them all the tools. We give them the motivation. We give them the ideas. You know, they have to be here, show up, and, um, you know, have an open mind. But um, we create it that way. We um, do all kinds of things outside of this. Um, the work environment to create the family values. We have golf tournaments. We do bowling. We have softball teams. Um, we try to get our, you know, our employees out on the water. We, you know, we, we want them to enjoy the product as, as we do. You know, we've, um, we, you know, have uh, manager outings and um, employee outings where we, you know, get them out on the water, get a taste of the boat, to see the pride, to see the, the pride in the, you know, the customer. Mm -hmm. um, and I think everybody has a, you know, a feel of, you know, pride in the product that they produce. And they're also excited to see it out in the water and see, you know, happy customers just enjoying their boat and um, them being part of the dream. Mm -hmm. And talk about, you know, you're always traveling, busy guy, you are running this huge company. How do you still stay so humble? That's probably has a lot to do with my personality. This is not my thing, doing this. I'm mm -hmm. kind of a behind the scenes guy. And, um, but you know, when a business evolves to where we are today, you either got to take acting lessons mm -hmm. or you've got to speak from the heart as far as doing press conferences and things. And so most of what I do that's telling the story of Scott Boats, it's unscripted. Um, and this is still, as I've been doing this all my life. Besides Scott, I've always built boats mm -hmm. since I was 14 years old. So I'm still very passionate about it. And I say all the time, if I had all the money in the world, I'd probably still be covered in dust creating a, a boat that. of some kind. I love that. That's just, I mean, I, I, I think in some instances it's almost like a sickness because I can't get it out of my head. It's a good one. I'm, yeah, it it's is. definitely a good one. And you know, in, in, in the, if you look at the success of people, of products, 
services that they've created. I think that's the one element that probably all have is that they're more passionate about what they do in the company and the people that they're surrounded by that makes them what they are. What are some of the hardships that you've had to overcome? Has there ever been a point where you were just like, I can't? The first big hardship we had was Hurricane Hugo. I was just about to ask if that had an impact because it happened in September that year. It did. And we had a little brick barn that was a 100-year-old building on Bacon Fred Road in Somerville. And um, Hugo wiped it out. Um, the whole building was about three foot high. And everything that we had worked for and saved for for eight or 10 years was buried. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have any insurance. And so at that point, um, FEMA was formed. I remember Diane and I took turns standing in line at Somerville High School in the rain to get a $10,000 FEMA loan. And so, you know, but at, at that point, I never had I never had a defeated attitude about it. I said, well, we'll get over this. This is just something that's a challenge. Mm -hmm. Well, then in December 23rd, two and a half months later, Somerville had the worst snowstorm to this date that it's ever had, had 11 inches of snow. It was a, you know, it's a gut check because, you know, you go through those two things and you just look up and say, okay, somebody's telling me if you're gonna be successful at this, then you gotta pay your dues. You know, and that's kind of the way I looked at it. I never, never once had even a hint that I'm gonna go back to work for somebody. We're gonna make it work. For more information, visit scoutboats.com.